Welcome back to Rhea's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Rhea. And on my channel, I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home. And hopefully, you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And this video is going to be like a day in the life and also an explanation of where I've been. A lot of you guys, if you've been following me, have messaged me and been wondering why I haven't been posting videos lately because for a while I was posting quite a few videos, like two or three videos a day. And I was in a routine of giving you guys so much content and I enjoyed making them and then I just stopped. So, um, and a lot of you guys have been messaging me. Thank you so much. Um, checking on me to see if I was okay. And I really appreciate that, uh, that you guys are checking on me because I love the community that we are building together and the interaction that I have with you guys is like my best part of doing YouTube. So when you guys were reaching out to me to see if I was okay, it meant a lot to me. Um, so basically I went through, I had to take a break because, um, I, I think I told you guys either on Instagram or on YouTube, I can't remember, where I was going through some type of anxieties and stuff. And I've had anxiety all my life, but I've always been able to control it and, well not control it, but been able to handle it to where it didn't, um, you know, interfere with my everyday life. Um, but I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, because I'm about to turn 39 this month. Um, but I, or because of what's going on in the world and different things, but my anxiety just got the best of me these past couple weeks and it got to the point where I didn't eat for like three days and because I'm the type of person once I'm, I'm very nervous and anxious I don't eat and so like you guys will always know like if you ever see my face like plump and you see me like having a little bit more weight that's when I'm at my happiest like when I'm at my happiest that's when I'll like eat like normal and then if you see me get a little bit skinny that's because something's probably bothering me and I'm worried about something so it was just a lot of things were coming up a lot of different responsibilities a lot of different things in my family um nothing looked like corona no health scare nothing like that but it was different things that were coming up and it was all hitting me at once um a lot of stuff that i had to take in and normally i can you know uh, like normally i could take a lot of things in and then um be able to handle it but it was just too much at once and so it took me out i had to like eat for like three days or like well like two days and then maybe like the third day i kind of like forced myself but it wasn't staying down um but it was just a lot and i had to just like take myself away from YouTube and take care of myself. But I'm fine now and um, I, like I said, I really appreciate you guys checking on me. It's just like I deal with anxiety and sometimes I don't like to talk too much about it because um, I'd rather this channel be happy and give you guys, you know, tips and help you guys out um, and just, you know, just share with you guys happiness so I don't want to always bring y'all down, you know, in my videos. But I also know that you guys like the realness and you guys want to know what's going on and reality was... A lot of things just came at me at once. My anxiety got the best of me and I just had to unplug and take care of myself. And so, but I'm better now and I'm ready to do videos for you guys again. I miss doing videos for you guys. I miss sharing my life with you guys. And I do have some ideas coming up that I wanna share with you guys come the summertime and some new things that have come up around the house that I can't wait to share with you guys. So today is gonna be just a day in the life. I'm gonna kinda share with you guys some things I'm gonna do. I have some cleaning to do. I have a new recipe that I wanna try in the um, slow cooker. I kind of want to get into like finding some more recipes for the slow cooker and my Instapot because come summertime, I try my best not to use the oven because I do live in Texas and so our electric bill goes up way high in the summer because of the Texas heat and trying to cool the house down and have, you know, and so um, we already waste a lot of electricity as it is and then if you use the stove, it heats up your house and then you got to um make the ac work a little bit more just to cool the house down so i try my best not to use the oven so i'm trying to look up some more recipes for like the slow cooker and the instant pot so today i'm going to try this salisbury steak slow cooker recipe which i'm excited about because i love salisbury steak and so does my husband and so i'm excited to try it today so i will be sharing that with you guys today I, and like i said i got some cleaning to do i also went to walmart and i have like a little haul that i want to share with you guys um so the girls if you guys are following me on Instagram, I share with you guys on my Instagram um, stories about the girls, what they're doing um, in the morning for the summertime. And I, at first, I wasn't gonna like share with you guys a you know a summer routine because 
to be real, like I am not that <laughs> type of mom that's like, oh, we have to be on a, such a tight schedule for the summertime because I have older kids and if they want to sleep in, they can sleep in. And you know, that's, I'm just, you know, that's just how I am. But this summer they're actually doing like a, a cross country kind of, um, camp for school that's free so monday through thursday they have to get up from um at eight um have, she have they have to get up to go to the camp from eight to ten so we are going to be on a schedule and a routine so i decided i am going to share with you guys that um once i get that routine down uh, what i could do and i think i'm gonna take advantage of the time when they're there i can get some more stuff done for my channel so i'll be sharing with you guys once i figure out a routine i'll be sharing with you guys my routine because i know you guys ask about my routines so we already went to their practice today they're actually really sore so right now they're both taking a nap <laughs> and i told them I was like, I usually don't allow them to take naps. So I'm like, but you know, it's summertime. If you guys go work out and you want to take a nap, that's fine with me. So they're taking a nap right now. But after practice, we had went to Walmart because they wanted to pick up some shorts for cross country. And I picked up some things that I want to share with you guys, some clothing items, because you know, I love my Walmart. I love, I can always find affordable clothes there that are so cute. And I picked up some things that I wanted to share with you guys. So, well, one of the things I picked up that's not clothes is I picked up some hair dye. Cause like I said, also in my Instagram stories, I told you guys, my hair is getting so white. Like I said, I got not lazy, but I was, I told you, I was just, I had to take care of myself and I was letting myself go. And so I have not done these white hairs. So these white hairs need to be dyed. And I just get the, this one, um, it's only like two something. Um, and I get the soft black one. I, I've tried other expensive ones before and I've noticed that they don't last long. Um, they don't last as long as, well, all of them last the same amount. So it doesn't matter what hair dye I buy. Um, my white roots come real fast anyway, so I don't like to spend that much on just doing my roots And since it's just one color, this is what I do I know a lot of people don't like, you know, store-bought hair dyes because it can damage your hair But I find it hasn't damaged my hair and like I said, I, if I'm gonna do like one base color I'm not gonna spend a lot of money for someone to do that in the salon when I could just do it myself So I'm gonna do that today, so I might show you guys why she, my daughter's gonna help me So I have my daughters help me and I sit, sometimes my husband help me so they will be dyeing my hair today So that's another thing I'll be doing but let's get into the haul. So um, my daughter, she wanted some of these head wraps um, because, you know, to keep her hair out of her face, you know, especially when she's doing the cross country thing. These were like two something, I think about two ninety six dollars for a pack of three and they come in like three different colors. So she got that. I saw um, these shirts at Walmart. I love their t-shirts because they're always $5. And so I saw this one and I thought it was so cute. I thought it would be perfect for come 4th of July because it just has like the 4th of July colors. Although this is not like a red red, it's like kind of like a pinkish, 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 peachish red. But I think this would be cute for 4th of July, just like the colors that are in it. And then, um, like I said, that's, that's $5. And then I saw these little shorts that they had. They had a bunch of these comfortable shorts, which were perfect for my girls because they need to buy some shorts to wear while they do their cross country practice. And so they had a ton of different styles and colors. These were the No Boundaries, no Boundaries brand. They were $5.98, which is a good price. And I think these are the best shorts just to wear around for the summertime because like, um, I'm going to show you, we recently got a pool in the backyard, which that was a lot of my headache that was causing some issues um but we got recently got a pool put up in the backyard and so i thought these would be just the cutest little shorts to have that are comfortable that whenever i'm wearing my bathing suit um during the day i could just put these shorts on and then like get into the pool and then put these shorts back on and they'd just be a comfortable little like loungewear to wear around the house they look so cute um when i tried them on i will share with them with you guys on instagram because i know sometimes you guys like to see how they look on so follow me on Instagram if you haven't followed me already and I will be sharing with you guys how they look once I put them on. But these are so cute. Um, I like this. Like I said, this is like the same kind of color that's in here. So I thought this was more like a red until I saw this these pants. And I was like, oh no, it's more like a peach, pinkish. I can't even say it. Pinkish, peachish pink. So these are just cute. I got my size medium. I always get uh, size medium and bottoms. Um, and I think they're going to cover very well. But like I said, I will show you on Instagram how they look. Um, me and the girls also got some other shorts there that are just black and gray. Um, this one is my daughter. She got the size small. So they have these. These are perfect for like working out or again, just wearing around the house on the summertime or just, you know, just, it's just summertime wear. Cause sometimes people don't want to wear jeans as shorts. So I think these are really comfortable and you can also wear them over your bathing suits whenever y'all go into the beach or the pool or wherever. And like I said, they're only $5.98. So I think that they're, you know, the perfect buy. Um, my daughter also bought this super high rise. I think it's a skirt. It's a skirt or shorts. It's a skirt. So she got these super high rise skirt, which is really cute because I feel like sometimes with her, because she has like, you know, 
she's you know my, my daughter she's Puerto Rican and black so she has you know so a little you know a butt she has a butt so whenever she wears shorts or skirts it's like a certain length in the front and then it's like high in the back because she has a butt so I like when I can buy longer skirts or when she likes longer skirts because then it accommodates her for the back parts so this is a cute little skirt um, when she tries it on I will share the picture on Instagram um, we each got these shorts I got one and my oldest daughter got one they also have a bunch of different affordable tanks um, at Walmart that I've shared with you guys before and they brought them back out these are the what brand is this this is the No Boundaries Fitted Super Soft Scoop Tanks. And these are only, I think they were like three something. Yeah, I think these were like, yeah, they were like $2.96. But they, they had a bunch of different colors. So my daughter got this for her um, as far as to like to work out in and just wear. She got a black and a gray one. They're super comfy. I have them. I've had them for a while. Um, and they do, they, um, I know a lot of times when you buy like Walmart clothes, like they don't like last long after you wash them. Those do, uh, they do well once after you wash them. They, they're not like they don't fall apart or anything. And then she also got these ribbed um, tees, which I've had these before as well. And this is also from the No Boundaries brand. It's stretch fitted. And I think these were two something as well. Uh, yeah, they're, I know they're like around $3. So these are like the more of like the spaghetti strap. Let me see. Yeah. This is more like the spaghetti strap. And again, they have a bunch of different colors. These are the ones that come in like whenever you go into the clothing section, they have like um, the little place where everything's folded. So this is what you got. So it has a bunch of different colors. So some fun little comfy clothes for the summertime. That's what we got. So yeah, I'm about to jump into my day and get started. I need to clean, like I said, I have to clean up some things, um, start dinner. And yeah, so just come along with me and see how my day is, how typically my days are going to go for the summertime. So here's something I have to tackle and clean and it is my bathroom sink. So this is the first time in a while that I actually got up and got dressed because I had to take the girls to their practices. So I have stuff everywhere. So I need to clean out the sink. So I'm not going to do a big clean of the bathroom. This is just going to be a quick clean. And then like I need to pick up some swimsuits back here because since we've been swimming, I've been just hanging my swimsuits back here and when it fell back there to dry. So I need to clean up this area as well. Every little thing you do Every time you hold me 
Okay, so now that I'm done doing that little morning clean, I'm now gonna start on my dinner because I wanna get in the slow cooker so I can slowly cook all day and I can get some other things done. So let me share with you guys the recipe that I found for this slow cooker Salisbury steak. So here is the recipe that I found that I'm going to try and I will have it linked down below for you guys in case you guys wanna try it. Um, I'm doing everything by the recipe except for they ask in the recipe, it calls for chicken, I mean, chicken beef bone broth, and I always just use my little uh, beef uh, boilon, boilon, however you say it. Um, I like having these, this, the beef and the chicken um, instead of, you know, having stock because that way I always have it on hand and I could just add water. So I'm just going to do this instead, and then instead of fresh mushrooms, I'm just going to use some canned mushrooms that I have, and then they ask for panko breadcrumbs, but I'm just gonna use regular breadcrumbs that I have. So I'm just gonna use what I have on hand to make everything. Um, but as far as that, um, the, what I just showed you, everything else is what exactly what the recipe calls for. But again, I'll have a link down below for you guys. Okay, so now I'm done in the kitchen for now. Um, I'm gonna make the mashed potatoes like closer to the time when we're gonna eat the Salisbury steak, but I have a load of laundry that I need to get to and I swear like my eyes are itching so bad today because the allergies here in Texas, like I told you guys before, they always, I have like bad allergies here and I've, all day today I have been like having like a runny nose and I think it's because um, now that I have to take the girls out to the track um, field at the school, they were cutting grass and all that other stuff and all that just hit me and I haven't been outside in so long. So it's like all hitting me. So like I have just like, my eyes are itchy and my nose is like water, um, watering, I'm not watering or running. <laughs> and so like my allergies are getting bad, but I need to start on this laundry. And then, um, I'm going to also show you guys in my planner, like the planner that I, um, share with you guys, my mom, the go planner that I love so much. It has so many, um, printables in it. Well, not printables, but so many, uh, papers in it that help you like organize for all the holidays or the seasons of the year and one of the things that they have the start of the summer is where you can write out your goals and kind of make a schedule for the summer and different things so I'm gonna share with you guys that and I think I'm gonna sit down with my kids today and ask them what their goals are for the summer what they want to do and kind of write that out so we can kick off our summer and kind of put it down on paper what we want to do so I'm gonna knock out this laundry first and then I'm gonna show you guys that later
so I got this big package delivered to my door and my mom was telling me to expect something because it is my birthday month and she was sending me something and she actually got me a swing because um, she knows that we got the new pool outside and I was talking about how I, I needed something to sit at because when the kids play in the pool I wanted to have you know somewhere to sit so that I can you know edit videos while they're in the pool so I could be out there with them and she got me this swing for my birthday so I'm so excited so I'll be putting that together in my porch soon and trying to figure out how I want to decorate that backyard and that porch. I don't want to spend too much money so it's not going to be a glamorous like Pinterest worthy thing but it's going to be a little something um, so look forward to that you guys. So here's the pages in my planner I was telling you guys about that they have in the month of June starting of summertime. So they have this page that says summertime plans and it has like Monday through Saturday. I guess they don't have no Sunday plans but I guess you can write down like the different things that you want to do. I know some people plan different things on different days or like right here I'll probably put the girls schedules down for the activities that they're doing. And then this page also has like goals so you could put your goals there and then it also has a to-do list. I guess things that you want to get done or whatever you want to plan. I'm probably going to put like different activities I want to do here or different like um kind of fun snacks I want to make for the kids or kind of like maybe our you know our bucket list or something so it's going to be like this is the goals and buckets list but this is the page and I think I'm going to talk with the girls tonight see what they want to do for the summertime and kind of write out our stuff um, in here um, so we could plan something for the summer. So do you guys have any like summer bucket list that you do with your kids or summer plans that you do with your kids or do you actually plan anything out for the summertime or are you kind of like just let things flow um I'm kind of like a mixture of both so like I told you guys at the beginning I usually don't have a set schedule because I kind of you know they work so hard all year we work so hard all year so sometimes we want to take a break and just sleep in um but this year I kind of want to put them on a schedule um because I feel like with quarantine we kind of were off schedules and then with them having virtual school they were off schedule a lot too so oh my god I'm like so sweaty um but so I kind of like that they're on a schedule now to go um do the summer camps and stuff and then it also forces me to have time to work on the channel and have more content for you guys um so I kind of like that we're going to be on a schedule so like I said I'll be sharing that with you guys soon but what do you guys do for the summertime do you guys have a set schedule do you just let things flow um do you do a summer bucket list do you plan a trip I don't think we're going to do any well I know we're not gonna do any vacations because um for this year, I think, you know, we got the pool in the backyard. We're going to make everything kind of like a staycation and make it fun. And I will share the pool with you guys later on. I just have some stuff I want to do in the backyard that kind of not done yet. So I think I might share that with you guys in another vlog, um, how the pool looks and everything like that, because it's kind of a gloomy day today. And supposedly today is supposed to be the last rainy day um, here. We've had so many rainy days in Texas. And I think that's what also contributed to my anxiety and my panic attack and stuff like that because I'm one of those people, like I told you guys before, my mood can depend on the weather. So I would never make it in Alaska or like Washington or, you know, Seattle, Washington where it rains a lot because um, if it's gloomy and raining all the time, that's, I take that on. And when it's bright and sunny, I have so much energy. So we've had a lot of rain a lot lately here in Texas and, you know, adding on like the anxiety I was already going through. I think that just contributed to why it was so bad this time because it was constantly rain, 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 rain. We still have rain. So today's supposedly supposed to be the last day. It's supposed to have sun, which I'm hoping. And then we can enjoy um, the pool a little bit more. I have been sharing the pool with you guys over on my Instagram. So again, if you're not following me already, go do that. Um, but yeah, I will share that with you guys later on another day. It's a very, very gloomy day today. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to go ask the girls what they want to make on their list and, you know, write that down and then um, start making the potatoes to go with the Salisbury steaks. I also wanted to share with you guys this new makeup bag that I got recently. Um, I normally had this one. I've shared this with you guys. But I got this one at Walmart and I liked it. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks and I liked it. Um, the only thing about it is that it didn't come with like any dividers or anything like that. And so at first I thought I was going to be okay because I can put my own things um, like different uh, makeup brush sets in here but then it just started getting like a little bit messy and not organized at all so then I had saw she's in her apron share this um, this makeup bag on her site she, I mean, not her site on her Instagram stories she recently went on vacation and with some other ladies and this lady would have this makeup bag and I liked it because um, let me oh, kind of 
unzip this while I'm holding the camera, but it comes with dividers in it and it comes in a bunch of different styles and colors. Of course, you guys know I love the marble and gold. That's my thing. Um, so I picked the marble and gold, but there's so many different finishes. They have pink, they have, I think, cheetah print, like all these different things. But as you can see, they have dividers within them. And then these dividers, guys, you can switch them into the different slots so you can create it, you know, create it however you want. So I thought this was amazing. Um, and it was, uh, I got it for, I think it was around $20 because she had a coupon code, which I, uh, one thing about this that I'm gonna share with you guys in my, um, in the link down below, I got this and I loved it so much that I actually reached out to the company. They're called Modern and Chic. I reached out to them on Instagram and told them that, you know, I was going to share this because I loved it. If they can have a coupon code for you guys, because anytime I like something, I always ask for a coupon code because I want you guys to save like I did because she's in her apron, gave a coupon code and I was able to get this for around 20 bucks. They actually did give me a code. It's RIA20 and you guys will get 25, I mean 20% 20 off, which is great because the one that I originally got was only 10% off. So I was so happy that they wanted to, you know, give me a code for you guys. So they gave me a 20% off code for you guys um, to order this if you want. And I will put the link down below and everything down below. But another thing that they had in this that I thought was amazing was this part right here for my makeup brushes. Cause right now I have my makeup brushes in like these little carrying containers, which is okay. And also this one that kind of like opened up when I was showing you guys, cause I'm doing everything one handed, which is kind of okay. But then I always have to take everything out and then like put it in here. And with this one, um, my makeup brushes can be like right here and they can be, I can see all of them as they're standing up and then just close them up. And then also this little zipper right here, I thought it would be perfect to put makeup palettes. So you, whenever you have those big makeup palettes, you can easily slide them in here and then put the rest of your stuff in here. So I really like this. Um, I love the color of it, the gold and the marble. And like I said, it comes in so many different finishes. I will put the link down below in my description box to link to this website and also the 20% off coupon code. I was so happy that they gave me a code for you guys because sometimes some people don't, you know, you ask them for a code and a list like you promise them something they don't give you nothing so i was so happy that they gave me a coupon code for you guys so i'm actually gonna try to fit all this into here right now and this is gonna be my new little makeup bag and i like having makeup bags as opposed to having my stuff on my vanities because i actually like my everyday makeup to be in a makeup bag so that if for whatever reason we were going on a trip or like when my daughter used to be in cheer i can just grab my my makeup bag that has my everyday stuff instead of like thinking about what i need to pack so and you know if you're ever like rushing like us moms we never have time we have to do a makeup in the car or makeup at um someone's house we always have everything in our bag so i just like having my everyday makeup in a makeup bag because it makes it so convenient for us whenever we need to travel with all our goodies so Again, I'll have everything a link down below for you guys. Um, so I'm really appreciative that they gave me that coupon code for you guys. So here's how it's looking now. So I have to take the patties out and add the little cornstarch and water to thicken the sauce. And then it will be done to eat with the mashed potatoes. Guys, this smells incredible. I just added the cornstarch and water. It's already like thickening up. Oh, it smells so good. So now when... It says to like cook for a while, but as you can see, let me back up because I'm gonna steam on the camera, but it's already thickened up, I think. And so then all you do is you just take your little patties and put them back in there. You can put the gravy over it and it is good to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how good this looks. I can't wait to actually try it. It looks so delicious. So let me try and let me tell you guys what I think. Okay, so I've tried it, you guys, and it's really, really good. I like how everything came. It didn't break apart at all, which I was worried about it breaking apart in the slow cooker. It didn't break apart at all because I seared it before I put it in the slow cooker. So this is a meal that I'm definitely going to make again. And I actually like it that it could be a freezer meal as well because you can prep the actual patties and freeze them. And then when you're ready to, you know, assemble them, just put everything in the crock pot. You can make the sauce and everything, put it in a baggie, put it on the side and, um, or just assemble it that day and put it in the crock pot. So it's a great make ahead freezer meal and it tastes really good. The only other thing that I did add that I didn't tell you was I added like a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sire sauce. Um, I don't know how to say that, but anyways, you guys know what sauce I'm talking about. Um, I like adding that to any beef recipe I do cause it just gives it a little bit more flavor. It goes great with um, ground beef. So I always like to add that. So that's the only thing I added, but I will have the, the recipe down below, like I told you guys. And also today, the stuff that I share with you guys on Walmart, I'll have a link down below as well if you want to get it. Um, I'm actually gonna go on Walmart online right now and order some more of those shorts because um, we, fit, we, you know, we tried them on and we like them. So I'm gonna order some more. So I'll have those links down below um, for you guys as well. So. 
um thanks for coming along with me guys today and seeing how my day goes and you know chit chatting with me so i can let you guys know what's been going on and i'm back now i'm gonna get start making videos for you guys again i'm gonna try my best to make them wednesdays and saturdays but we'll see i never can stick on a schedule but i will try my best for you guys i do have a decluttering video coming up for you guys because i need to declutter these cabinets because there's a bunch of stuff that i don't need and i need to clean them and i have some diys coming up for you guys and sorry my battery died on me so i had to switch the battery on my camera but like i said i have some diys coming up for you well actually a diy um some stuff that i wanted to add to my living room um, I'm really like I have my house the way that I want it so there's not many DIYs that are gonna be coming up because I have things already how I want them um, I might make some more DIYs when it comes to other things but as far as decor I, I kind of have it how I want it but then again fall will be coming soon and you guys know how I love the fall so let me know in the comments down below any videos you guys want to see because you guys know I make these videos for you guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.